tea. Don't know that I like the tea. Kind of regret making it that way, but I have tea. I made a matcha latte and I put some like vanilla bean coffee creamer in it. But honestly, this coffee creamer tastes like shit. Uh, normally when I make a matcha latte, like a flavored one, I use like a white chocolate coffee syrup and that tastes a lot better. The vanilla is just cloyingly sweet. You should regret making- what are you? Are you an Oshi now? <laughs> you gonna complain that I- that I talk to men? And that I, uh, say cuss words? I'm not say so? Joke's on you! I'm practically fucking married! <laughs> Is he is a mod? <laughs> he has a mod who has been kicked twice. <laughs> oh. Damn, bro. Alright, let's fucking go. Did the game volume not update? As per my settings, it did not because I didn't save the game. I was- I forgot to grind for levels over the weekend. So I streamed on Friday, our second uh, episode, and I forgot to grind for levels uh, until today. <laughs> So I, I am a little like frazzled because I was grinding for levels like the last afternoon of work and I literally was typing emails and doing art on a trackpad with one hand while grinding for levels with the other on auto battle. I think we made good progress. We're currently sitting with uh, Shade XD does jack up the sense? Yeah, it's not that bad. I used to play League with the trackpad. <laughs> On a Mac. Truly cursed. Um. Exactly, yeah, yeah. You make do. Uh, I was mostly frustrated because Adobe's controls with trackpad is just bleh. But uh, we got it done. <laughs> but I was like answering emails uh, and like doing this like wrestling not wrestling, this boxing artwork. And I was like, ah, uh, so busy. Must keep grinding levels. So we got up to like level 20, level 18. Merlina died a couple of times because <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to health. Um, but it's fine. We got our shit kicked in at the end of last stream when we met uh, a dude with a cool ponytail and an awesome mustache. Um, I actually have my party set up in... What at the time felt like the most logical way, but somehow Merlina has more health than Denki now. And I, I don't know how that happened, but there we go. Uh, I did want to check the magic that they have. Can't use magic, can't use magic. Because we did get a bunch of spells, so paralysis, passing of time. Determine weaknesses. Res. Displays a detailed map. I feel like I don't already have that. Uh, protect. Protect is going to be really helpful. I think I'm going to pop that on everyone if I can. I hope protect can be used AoE. If not, I'm going to be upset. And then we'll just have to cast it one by one. Uh, Kira is good but expensive. Silence is alright, and Insua is uh I wonder, is this the first occurrence of Insua as like the status effect clear? I think. No, I mean, we might have had it in one, but it's not bad. No, Denki. Denki learned some some skills. Here, sight, hold. What does hold do? 
paralysis, sight, fear, blizzard, thunder, sleep, poison, warp, so we can leave really quickly. Toad, we can turn things into a toad. Turns target into a pig or returns to its normal state. Fire and stop. And then they can summon a chocobo. But that's pretty much it. Um, let me check real quick, quick and make sure everybody is optimally geared. Yes. All right, let's get into it. We're good. I went back and I got some spells. I was mostly doing this all day. Just this. <laughs> so you finally, you're free. You're free, Shadow. You may move from the path. Why am I the artist formerly known for, known as Prince? I'm pretty sure that's copyrighted and you're gonna get arrested if you say that. They're gonna come after you. Cool. That's the new, like, uh... That's the new thing they're gonna say. They're gonna say, like, Gen Z these days don't care about trademarks and copyright. How dare they stand upon something that's meant to protect them? Real emo's copyright in French. Don't take that out of context. I don't actually condone that. <laughs> Because you're a spoony bard. A bit of a spoony bard. Got a chest and bad touch zone. We'll get the chest and we'll go. Never mind. I never check what spell is good against them. Okay, I'm warming up to this matcha. That's all right. You know what else is cool? What else is cool, TPC? What's ice cold? Copyright law that dissent can just exist? Is that copyright law or freedom of speech law? I guess parody is covered under that, but I don't know that parody is necessarily considered dissent. As we've- oh, that Disney can just extend? <laughs> I thought we were having a deeper conversation about what is parody. Um... Yeah, that's a little scuffed. And technically that's not even copyright law, that's trademark. But they're continually extending trademarks on things that should technically be in the public domain. But yeah, I went through my works copyright stuff and updated the information today. Um, I don't know why I woke up and I was like, I'm going to do six different things at work today and it's going to be great. <laughs> but I did. Um, and I went through and I was like updating our doc of like common copyright issues. And I was just like, man, I looked at current orders and it's just all Disney. Everything that's that's a problem right now is Disney. When do we get into like NFL heavy stuff? That's what I want to know. I don't do sports. When's when's the uh, most sport heavy football -y time of year for if there's someone that does sports here? January. Okay. Because every year, every goddamn year, we have to like crack down really hard on the. Um, the Super Bowl stuff, because we work with companies that produce, like, legitimate stuff for NFL teams. Uh, so every year they're like, you better not be making stuff for, for knockoff goods. And we're like, okay. That garb. He's one of Fabul's monks. Yeah. Actually, is that the voice we want to give him? I mean, he's just, like, fucking their shit up. Hmm. Yeah. He 
needs like a daddy voice. His name's Yang. Yeah. So every year, I, as a supervisor, have to talk to someone who's pissy that we won't print their Super Bowl party t-shirts. And every year, someone thinks they're going to convince me that it's okay. And I'm like, that's not how it works. Good grief. That's no normal bomb. We have to help him. Okay. I wish I knew what Gerd did. Oh, cool. We did 400 damage. Oh, that's what Gerd did. Gerd acts as a protect. That's great. White magic will protect myself. Oh yeah, five party members. Is five party members actually a thing, or is this not just like a temporary party member? He's kicking all of them all at once. <laughs> he suddenly like comes out with like five feet. Or is this like, I don't know, like Kung Fu movie style where he like jumps from enemy to enemy? Does he do like the sonic bounce where he like bounces off of them? Yeah, this is much better than when I was under level. <laughs> I'm gonna slide a little. A little to the left. I like my shoulder touching the left of the frame. Just a little bit, you know? And we gotta show the goods. There we go. You have my gratitude. Yang is my name. I am the High Monk of Fabul. I came here to train with my men, but they were all killed by a swarm of beasts. They were Fabul's finest monks. My name is Shade XD. We bring urgent news to Fabul. A villain named Golbez is using the Baron's power to seize the world's crystal for himself. He then covets our wind crystal as well. There is no doubt. He already took the crystal of Damasian with ease. Babul may be next to fall. Then, then the odds are against us. The only monks left in the castle are students. They stand little chance against the Baron's horses. I'd assume Golbez was behind the monster attack that killed your men. And almost killed you. <laughs> You're gonna go cry that Minecraft is $40 now? Damn. I'm sorry, TPC. Have a good night. 
Then their assault is imminent. I must go. We will go with you to Babel. You may need our help. I am grateful. However, this matter does not concern you. It concerns all of us. You see... Oh, shit. I'm using the wrong voice. I got all the characters mixed up. You see, I am the Prince of Demacia. Merlena and I are citizens of Baron, and this girl is but one victim of our kingdom's relentless attacks that I myself led. Oh. I see. Then I humbly accept your assistance. Let's go. We haven't much time. Babu lies to the east of these mountains. <laughs> to the east of the mountains. Let's go. That's pretty straightforward, Gabe. I should probably save. Was there really five party members? Damn. Kick them all. Boing. These are like honestly the best monk animations yet. How's everybody looking? Nice and topped up. Let's go. Adventure! Not too much adventure, though. Man, Denki, your cure sucks. You gotta get good. I did switch to, um, I cheesed out in 14 recently, and I got a boost, because this game, even though the main character is currently a Dark Knight, the armor is very much like Dragoons <laughs> in 14, so it made me want to play a Dragoon in 14, so I got a boost so that I didn't have to level Dragoon all the way, because I heard it's, I started it, and it's pretty rough <laughs> until later. But, like, learning the rotation for Dragoon has not been that difficult, and I'm really enjoying it. So I actually think I may cap it this week. I like jumping on things. It's really fun. I have so many gap closers. So they said to the east, so it should just be up through this forest. That's a lot of monsters. <laughs> Kick them all, Yang. You got this.
He is taken down by a beautiful song. <laughs> Where are my potions? Definitely have potions. There we go. I feel like this is too far to the east, but okay. I'm sure I'm not getting lost. This is fine. The only downside about this active time combat is that if I fuck up, like I missed hitting all enemies there for Denki, I can't go back. So I guess you'll get to see if I really fuck up. Just in case there's a battle, let's... Let's use a tent. We have plenty of them, so let's have a little nap right outside. I mean, I'm sure the crystal will be safe. It's fine. There's nothing to worry about. We just gotta go glamping real quick. Master Yang. The king wishes to see you. No, I wanted to talk to them again. I want to see what they said out here. Master Yang, the king wishes to see you. Our best soldiers were annihilated? Impossible. Hmm, chopping. Hmm, I don't need any of this, really. And I did save, but we are gonna have a peek around and see if there's goodies. Not really. This music reminds me of something, but I, I can't figure out what. Oh, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of, like, the Fire Temple in Zelda. Or, like, the spirit temple. In the original game, if you tried to attack a dead enemy, you would just always miss. Ugh. That sounds awful. I've decided that to fix my ways of the last uh, Final Fantasy, I shall not be selling anything. We're not selling any items this time around because I'm not going to risk not having something <laughs> when I need it. I'm not doing it again. I'm going full inverse. We're never selling anything. Welcome home, Master Ye. Welcome home. What do we got down here? Hmm. No secrets. I am absolutely checking every wall. Yeah, that sounds horrible. There is a reason why I am playing the Pixel remasters. One, because I could get them in bundles. And two, uh, it seems like there's just major quality of life upgrades while still retaining the quality of the same game. Also, I just think pixel art is neat. I heard you were attacked at Mount Hobbs. Did you sustain any injuries? Damn, these guys really don't know how to think independently. Uh, master, I wasn't sleeping. I was uh, 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 meditating. 
Uh, I bet you were sleeping. Yeah. That's what you were doing. Was fucking jacking it. Hell yeah. Dance for me. No! Give me the boobies! Put them back! How dare you! What the? Yeah! This isn't the dance I wanted. Yeah! Yeah! You are the betrayer. Master Yang, I heard some bad guys are coming. I hope you beat them to a pulp. With the monks to protect us, we'll be safe as long as we stay inside the castle. Master Yang, how did the training go? Oh, hot. Treasure! That turtle is adorable. Thanks, Razzy. How you doing? You too can also have this turtle because it's like with VTube Studio. It has just been a thing that he's a friend of. Normally he rests on my boob so people don't really notice him. This is the king's chamber. I'm gonna take a shit in his bed. What a huge bed. I wish this was mine. I'm gonna leave a big fat dump. Eat the rich. <laughs> Just vibing. Oh shit, what kind of nerding? Is this, are we talking like D&D? &D or are we talking like video games? Comics? What kind of nerdin'? Magic the Gathering. Oh, no. <laughs> they're, doing, they're bringing you back in, Rezzy. <laughs> no. It's so dangerous. The most dangerous of games. Magic the Gathering. Your wallet will never recover. A bomb fragment. Arctic winds. Ocean. No way. No way. Hey, Merlin. I'm done buying cards. It's all proxy now. Fair. My partner plays a lot of magic, and he only plays um, Magic the Gathering online. The infirmary is ready for anything. All right. Well, hello. Do you wish to change your name? Congratulations, Razzy. You were the most recent chatter. Um, MTGO. So you get to be named after the monk. Oh, that's going to be too long, though. It's just going to be Raziel. There we go. I forgot to make it all caps. Whoops. We have everybody named, right? Yeah. Good, good, good. I really wanted to get into MTGO, but the UI makes me feel like I'm locked in the basement of the bank. I did tech support in. Fair, fair. Um, wait, MTGO? No, we might be talking arena. Whatever the more recent magic card game is, I think arena then. I think MTGO is the weird one. Where have you been? Off uh, loafing, I bet. This is my wife. Darling, 
Shade XD and his companions came to aid, came to my aid on Mount Hobbs. Well, that was mighty kind of you. Hey, hon, don't you have some place you gotta go? I heard the king's been waiting for you. Yeah, I mean, we came here to warn the king that his kingdom's in danger, but Razzie's gotta get a piece of that sweet ass first thing. We came right up here. My wife. You hate the type font? I don't mind it. Not so bad. I know there's like mods to change it. If we want to talk worse, I could put on the CRT mode. We, we could play in CRT. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Although it was really cool, a friend of mine was watching the stream and did actually play it through to his physical CRT, which was cool. Something about everything being pixels and the text being like aerial is super weird. I think I'm used to it because this is the font that they've used for every remaster and remake that I've seen. Like, I think the first one that I saw was the port that they did for the iPhone back when they started doing that for one. So like I'm used to the font, so it's not weird for me. Listen guys, if you want me to mod to use a different font, be careful what you're asking for because Final Fantasy V will be in Comic Sans. Welcome home, Master Raziel. <laughs> you are fine. Raziel, at last, you have returned. Sire, we must prepare for battle. Bear and his boys to attack and steal our crystal. How do you know this? These two are citizens of Baron. They came to warn us. And the others? Sire, we haven't that much time. The castle's defenses must be tightened immediately. Raziel, can we trust this dark knight and his companions? Ross, is that Aqua? It sure as fuck is. I believe so. I believe so. They risked their lives to help me. We must hurry. Please. It is an honor to see you again. Prince TPC. Sire, Baron's fleet decimated Demacian and claimed our crystal not that long ago. Many died, including my parents and my beloved. Demacian's tragedy must not be repeated. I understand. Forgive my suspicions. Raziel, mobilize the men for battle. Prince TPC. Dark Knight, will you help us defend Fabul? They have greatly offered to help. They have already offered to help, sire. We will join the forward guards by the main gate. Very well. Will the mages assist our medic? Yes, sire. Babel's fate rests in your hands. May we be victorious. Have you missed me in all the squats? Uh, there has been a suspicious lack of squats. So I've been a little nervous. <laughs> As you command. We will assemble at the main gate. Wait, no, come back. Come back! There's stuff to explore! Shade XD, come back safely. Dunky, take care of Merlina for me. Mm. Here they come! Attack! <laughs> Sing, my pretties!
Mm. Yeah, run away, bitch. The Red Wings. You know it's fucked when the screen turns red. It's all over. We can't hold them back. Retreat into the castle. We are severely outnumbered. I should not have let you help. This is our fight too. And it's far from over. They're, they're coming. <laughs> Seeing my pretties. Honestly, TPC's fucking him up. You're doing a good job. Oh no, not the NPCs! Fall back! You know, a flamethrower would make that retreat pattern really difficult. I'm just saying. Isn't that the throne hall just behind us? We must hold them here. The king has already retreated to safety with the woman and children. It is our duty to lure the enemy away. And crush them! My teeth hurt. Well, honestly, so... I got cavities on my front teeth because... I did a depresso bad and didn't take care of them. So brush your teeth, kids. Um, and... They were able to fill them and do fillings on them, but they're not great. Essentially, they were like, yeah, you're going to need crowns on them. But every now and then, my teeth just kind of tingle. Like, I can feel the air on them, and it's uncomfortable. Let's get out of here. Damn you, Baron. Again, flamethrower would be just prime. The door is bolted. We make our last stand here. Where is the crystal kept? In a vault above here. The door has been unlocked. You fool! What are you doing? He's one of them. A gargoyle. Well, you know, we've fucked up many gargoyles. <laughs> Kick all of them. All of them at runs, Razzy. Grow three more legs just to kick them. I keep trying to take a drink of my tea. And then I have to do combat. We are outnumbered. Withdraw to the vault. I'm gonna dig in my closet in a second for my pop filter. Because I can feel myself going... Sorry. Ah, uh, TBC. You guys got this. A, a, a thing in that pot. Oh boy. I knew it. I knew it. Oh. 
I knew that he was sussy. I knew it. It's been a while. Mikake, you're alive. So it would seem. We'll talk later. For now, we have some fighting to do. Indeed. Are you ready to face me, Shade XD? What are you saying? Ready your sword! Mikay Kay? Ready your sword, fool! Why do this? Save your breath. Uh-oh. This is it, Shade XD. Jesus. Has Golbez poisoned your mind, too? Have you any final words? Stop! No! Merlena? McKayke. You of all people. No. I. Why do you hesitate, McKayke? Golbez. So, you're Golbez. And. You must be Shade XD. Never hesitate to kill, McKay K. Now, see how it's done. Shade XD! No! Silence! Oh, fuck. McKay K. Get the crystal! Yes, sire. McKayke, please! Huh? Melena, no! Oh, is this woman important to you? Then I shall take her with me to raise the stakes. Until we meet again. Come, McKay K. He just fucking picks her up, puts her in his pocket. Damn. He's like, here, come in this kangaroo pouch. <laughs> you won't be so lucky next time. Wait. Ugh. Cure! Fuck you, Deki! I told you! Your cures fucking suck! Why did you wait until now to do this? You piece of shit! You've ruined everything! You let someone get kidnapped! You're the worst! You goddamn child, we should've let you die! <laughs> fucking bitch. <laughs> you just sat around and watched... Feeling better? Thank you, Denki. The crystal is gone. I have failed. And Merlina is gone too. She's the worst. So we have to help her and get back the crystal while we're at it. She's right. We have no time for moping. Shade XD, it's our turn to assist you. But for now, let us heal our wounds. Thank you. Fuck you, Dunky. Clearly, Comic Sans would be the wrong choice. 
This game is ye old timey, but virus is the right answer. Oh shit, you're right. No, you haven't met the most annoying character yet. I don't know. I feel really betrayed right now, and I'm kind of worried that Denki is going to fucking stab me in my sleep. And, like, with reason, too. We killed her parents and murdered her whole village. But, like, that, that was sus. McKenke, you know, I kind of expected that. We got separated. He was like, oh, I, I didn't want to be a Dark Knight. I uh, just followed my family's footsteps. He's got, like, the lineage with the Baron. It, it makes sense, right? Kenki, though? She's sus. Very sus. I'm checking for secrets. Um, um, can I go up there? No. Okay. Damn. That was a good cutscene. Hermes shoes. And he just fucking waited. The king rests in his chamber. He suffered some injuries during the attack. Fuck you. Secrets. Secrets. Secret tunnel. To the treasure. Secret tunnel. Nice. All right, I am going to get up for just a second. I need to check on dinner and get some dinner for Reveled. We are having chicken Caesar salad, and I had to cook chicken. Um, I'm also going to dig around and see if I can find my chitty pop filter to help. So I will be back in like 10 minutes.
I'm eating salad. <laughs> a little bit, so. How's everybody doing? Take a moment, drink some water. Eat some food if you haven't had dinner yet. I made way too much salad. Hello, Greg, how are you today? Okay, I have consumed the leaves. Let us return to gameplay. Alright. I believe we got everybody optimal, but let me check and see if there's anything better for... Razzy. Welcome. What can I do to you? Wait, did I say what can I do to you? Not what can I do for you? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I've entered the wrong establishment. Goodbye. No, oh, fuck it. We'll buy one of them. Just in case we need to swap that out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're doing something. It's too dangerous out there. You should rest for the time being. Okay. Like, mandatory nap time. Oh, wait, no. They wanted to visit the king. So that's like through the door. Master Raziel, you may rest here tonight. Please let me know if you need anything. Hmm. So, how will we go about the rescue? <clears throat> oh God, I got salad in my mouth. To fight Golbez, we'll need an airship. But, Baron is the only kingdom that has them. Then we must sneak into Baron and borrow one. Borrow. <laughs> borrow. Baron's main force is the Red Wings, so its naval power is relatively weak. We might be able to slip by via water route. Then we need a boat. I will ask the king for a ship tomorrow morning. Thank you, Raziel. Crunchy. By the way, who was that dragoon? His name? is McKK. He used to be my best friend, but he's no longer the man I knew. Perhaps you will find your answers in Baron. But now, we should rest. Until tomorrow, then. I see. I will arrange for, sh for ship right away. Horazio, 
accompany Shade XD and help him any way you can. Shade XD, take this sword. It belonged to a dark knight who came to Fabul many years ago. The sword exudes tremendous force, but it is still a weapon of darkness. Darkness can never prevail over true evil, but I have every faith you will slay Golbez. We received the Deathbringer. Go to the harbor to the east as soon as you are prepared. A ship awaits you there. Golbez must be stopped. If he acquires all of the crystals, the world will be thrust into unprecedented crisis. I am counting on you. Na, na, na. Na. The king was once a famous monk. There's no need to worry. Okay. I have avoided and forgotten where I am supposed to go. Somewhere. Gotta go somewhere. Do I remember where? Nope. I'm gonna say goodbye to my wife. Oh, Han. You're alright! I am fine. Thanks to their help. You guys are like my hubby's guardian angels. And you? Are you alright? Of course! Them barren bozos ain't never coming back. I gave him a hell of a thumping with my non-stick frying pan. Why non-stick? All right, we're going somewhere. I had a second where I was like, holy shit, did I forget to start recording this? <laughs> that would have been very upset because that's an important scene that we just had. But I didn't, so we're good. Good, good. We're back. I'm easily distractible because I'm just munching on leafy greens. As is the staple of all aqua streams, I am literally eating dinner during stream. Which, like, you'd think I would get more advanced and, like, make sandwiches or wraps or something. Nah. <laughs> nope. Ah, our boat. Lovely. Good luck, y'all. Take care of yourselves and kick some backside for me. With pleasure. Keep your chin up, Shade XD. You'll get her back in no time. We'll do our best. I trust you will look after everything in my stead. You bet. I love you, you big lunkhead. Aww. I find myself wishing the cutscenes were longer. Like, <laughs> you must walk longer so I can eat more salad. I did. We're trying to VTube and chill, but not that kind of way. That's a little weird. Not in the sexy way. <laughs> you must be Shade XD. I heard he smacked the hell out of those barren lovelies. Sit back, matey, and enjoy the ride. Ah, uh, once again, once again, I have defaulted from... I can't do a pirate accent, so I have to do a cowboy accent. Because really, pirates are just cowboys of the sea. Riding their lovely steeds. You must be Shade XD. 
I heard you smack the hell out of those barren lovelies. Sit back and enjoy the ride. <laughs> Anchors away. Aye, aye, Captain. Get along there, scallywag. Get along. I'm getting through a one bite at a time. We're like 50% through the salad. I did overcook the chicken, but it wasn't great chicken, so that's fine. But I did remember to flip it, and I put sitar on both sides of my chicken when I was grilling it. Or toasting it, I guess. I was baking it. The sitar, if you ever do, like, salads, or you just throw, like, chicken into something that's, like, marginally healthy, the sitar is, like, the best fucking seasoning you can put on anything. It's, like, slightly lemony and savory. It's great. What will we do once we arrive at Baron? We have to meet Sid, Baron's chief airship engineer. He'll help us. I only hope the man you speak of is safe. Hmm. Are you cold? You're shaking. I... I'm fine. It's... It's nothing. He gets seasick, doesn't he? Either that or he has a concussion. And he's gonna die. I'm doing well. But a very busy work day. What's going on? Shiver me timbers. Holy mackerel. It's the ruler of the deep. No. No. It's it's a Leviathan. Ooh. Leviathan. Oh, does this mean Dunky is gonna be able to summon Leviathan? <laughs> They're spinning. Just like the French girls. Change courses! Look at them dance! Wah! Denki! Denki! Brazil! Ah! Uh, DBC! Back to the sea, they return. Oh shit, we're going in. It's short for dental. Ugh. 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 Da Vinky? Da Quick, write SOS and put boobs at the end. Then they will stop for you. Where? Where am I? Denki! DBC! Raziel! Where is everyone? Oh shit! It's Mysidia! Didn't I just, like, murder everybody here? Isn't this the town I, like, created a massacre in? I have nothing to say to the likes of you. 
You. I remember you. Take this. Toad. I wonder if I should talk to people in toad form so I'm not recognizable. Well, apparently he recognizes my toad as a terrorist. Well, what can I do for you? Oh, but trade? Trade is fine. I don't know if these are better. I'm imagining your voice would be on par with Kermit. I'm trying to think which. I'm here to. Do I can't do a Kermit impression. <laughs> I'm here to defeat the darkness. Oh, I. I. That's probably the worst Kermit impression I have ever heard. Close enough. Mm. Impressions are not my strong suit. I mean, I can't afford that gear. What do you want? More weapons to butcher our people with? Yes. The nicknames on my MP3 player in high school? I actually have an MP3 player that I had in high school that still works, which is wild. I charged it the other day and I was listening to it and I was like, damn. Cottages. Very nice. I mean, what is the difference between a cottage and... ...and a tent? Please, don't kill me, Ribbit. You monster! Release our people! Bug off! <laughs> I ain't afraid of you! Well, hello. Do you wish to change names? My, you look exhausted. Here, drink this. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> that was laced with poison. Die, you stupid, gullible knight. I feel like I'm in my repentance phase. Hey, watch this. I'm getting sleepy. I mean, we did commit a terrorism on their city. Honestly, even walking into the town is pretty fucking ballsy. <laughs> you require much training. She just skipped off into the woods. Inside this building is Devil's Road. Which leads all the way to Baron. The road has been sealed since the incident. People are always hurting each other. This behavior saddens me. Devil's Road is like a warp in space and time. Supposedly, one must sacrifice significant vitality to cross it. 
Ah, I gotta talk to this lady in the back. Yeah, you're the Dark Knight from Baron. Ah, you're the Dark Knight from Baron. Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay. You have no idea how much pain and suffering you have caused us. I mean, I don't know. Your population seems to be fucking booming. Clearly, I didn't do a good enough job. You have some gall to come here. Let me out. Let me out. Ribbit. 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 The elder said we should forgive and forget your terrible acts. Yet I cannot. You are in the manner of prayers. You may talk to the elder, if you wish. You are that dark knight from before. Why have you returned? My name is Shade XD. I'm the former commander of the Red Wings. At that time, I didn't have the courage to go against the king's orders. Words will not bring back our dead. <clears throat> However, I see that you have changed. Perhaps it would not be wise of my time to hear, to hear what you have to say. We are fighting a name named. We are fighting a man named Golbez, who has somehow risen to power in Baron. However, my companions and I were attacked by Leviathan on our way to rescue a friend from Golbez's clutches. Perhaps this is a test, and you must prove yourself worthy. However, you have come to rely too much on your dark sword. This will only lead to the darkening of your soul. If you wish to fight with purity, you must head to Mount Ordeals to the east. There, you may find, is where your fate lies. But my friends are in danger! I can't waste any time! I see your friends mean much to you, but you must not be impatient. You are destined to a great fate. You must go to Mount Ordeals and transform your dark sword into one of a light. Those who accept the holy light will become paladins. Many have journeyed to Mount Ordeals, but none have returned. Do you still wish to go? I feel I must. Very well. The journey will be dangerous for a lone dark knight. I will have my two mages accompany you. Alom, Borom. <gasps> so cute. You called for us? Where is Palom? Hello? Come out this minute. I can't believe I have to help this barren scum. Be grateful that Mysidious prodigy Palome will assist you. Are these... mages? Yes, this is Palome and Porome. All those still apprentices, they should be of great help. I'm the greatest mage in all of Mysidia. You should be thankful I'm even speaking to you. Hello. I expect you to save yourself on this journey. My name is Perome. Pleased to meet you, sir. Hello. Greet him properly. <laughs> nice to meet you. 
least my friends. Mm -mm. So, okay. No. Go to Mount Ordeal. Sorry, wrong voice. Wow. Um, now, go to Mount Ordeals. Hello, Barome. Do everything in your power to assist Shade XD. Again, people who I think are definitely going to stab me in my sleep are now in my party. <laughs> but okay. And I like how the Elder's just like, yeah, we're going to send some kids with you. Like I said, no one's ever come back alive, but we're going to send some lively young children with you. The Cure Spell. A paladin is the antithesis of a Dark Knight. Uh -huh. I'm vibing as a frog. I'm staying. renaming time. Gregrom, Gregrom, put linguist in Gregrom. Don't be a stranger. Welcome to the party. Children have joined the party. Poison, thunder, fire, sleep, lizard, fear, slow, slice, scan. No, I've lost in Sua. I think I'll have to use the, uh, the toad thing. Oh my god, they cast pig on me too. <laughs> How fit. Oh god, they're only level 10. We gotta train these kids up. I got work to do. Hmm. Alright. Have to go up the mountain. No sleep for you. <laughs> we really do gotta train these kids up. Alright. Leveling time. Because they are weak as shit. Wait, he has a skill that's just cry. His skill is cry. Are you shitting me?
Yeah, these guys are total dead weight right now, so we're gonna have to level them up a lot. So how's everybody's day going? What'd y'all eat for lunch or for dinner? I have learned that I really like Caesar salads as I got older. Although it depends. It can't be like too much dressing. What if we returned to toads? Yes, I would love that. Ribbit, ribbit. The simple life. Actually using my slaves save spots is a new important skill that I learned after Final Fantasy 3. I was actually killing a bunch of cockatrices in Final Fantasy XIV today because I've been collecting their flesh for cooking recipes in that game. It was kind of nice though. I haven't been outside of uh, Idleshire in a very long time in fourteen. I was just vibing out there, like doing quests and stuff. The music's so good for that area. Oh yeah, they're getting skills. You're going the accelerated learning program, kids. And by that, I mean you're going to war. say what if we turn back into toads linguist do you mean you think we originated from toads like toad crawled out of the um primordial soup and evolved into primate is that what it is is there actually proof that humans common ancestors ancestors like an amphibian So I suppose it would be thing crawling out of primordial soup into dinosaur and then into primate.
The true humanoid clearly has a chitin shell, and that's what peak beauty and efficiency is. You know, at some point, I wonder if unsupervised children is a bad idea. But it's fine. We can raise them from the dead. They are so fucking weak. This is unacceptable. I've downgraded. Salad is extra crunchy. Yep. You know, Rebel normally doesn't go for like non iceberg lettuce salads, but I wonder if you like this one. Because this has um, a mix of romaine hearts that we had in the fridge with some spring mix. And the romaine hearts have that like real crunchy center, kind of like iceberg lettuce. I wonder if he's down for it. Sometimes I have problems with romaine hearts, but this is like a good level of crunchy. They weren't too big. You gotta cut them up enough. <laughs> They're level 12. We want to get them to like level 20, maybe. I mean, so what I'm learning so far is this game is very on the mark with its timing between, like, cutscenes. Because I would say it's probably been almost exactly two, in between an hour and 45 minutes and two hours between it, each event where I need to, like, grind for levels. So I try to schedule it so it's off stream so that you guys don't have to watch it and we can, like, just enjoy the story and chat. But sometimes, sometimes we're just stuck here, <laughs> you know, sometimes we're chilling uh, and that's how it ends up. Kind of sucks, but I did like that the originals were more like three hours apart. Like you could get away with doing like one grinding session for levels and then like do a good fourth of the game on that. <laughs> Keep this murder train going. I am enjoying the story. Like, even though it's not like selectable classes, it feels much better having like set characters because the characters are developed more. So I probably like that the most so far. We started to get characters developed in three, but this is like, this is your character and you get to choose how you play them. So I'm kind of putting the personalization in and how they talk and how they're named. So 
I hope the naming characters doesn't go away, though. Fast as hell. Do you have the Shadowbringers Extreme Trial Doggies? Um, I have... Wait, this Shadow Stormblade. Um, I have like two. I don't have all of them though. I think I have like the Lakshmi one and another one. But I haven't really farmed for those. Because I actually really didn't like the Stormblood raids that much. Um... So I haven't gone out of my way to get them. I'm trying to get some folds together for Unsynced Farm. Um, when? Like today? Are you talking like just in general? Not today, you're at work. Um, okay, yeah, let me know when you want to do it. I'm down. I don't have them all, so. Yeah, I'd be down to do it. And usually my FC is down to do it too. So I could post in the FC if we form a group. And I can usually rope my partner into it. And my friend and my other friend. I can rope a lot of people into playing Final Fantasy 14. It's actually really easy. <laughs> I have a core group of friends and they all play 14. To the point that like half the time I'll just log in and I'll see that um, zombies in Eureka and I'll be like hey can I join you I need to practice something and they're like okay thank you I spent the week doing the heavens word verbs and I got the itch yeah there is something very satisfying it's that satisfaction of like the checklist is complete was it like two weeks ago my FC was farming um Tatiana EX and I was like I'm just here for the new weapons I have this already I don't have all the Gwippers, but I have a lot of them. Okay. Let's go to the inn for a heal. Actually, is there like a place to res at the inn? Or do I just have to use a Phoenix down? I mean, it's not like I, I'm missing them. I have plenty. It's just weird. Yeah, I think I might still be missing one or two of the birds. Um, Because I, I haven't normally been very big on mountain farming. <laughs> I farm for glamours, not mounts. Oh, yeah, they're good. I, I was very sad at first because I... I finally caved and I was like, okay, I really need a DPS class leveled. I need to finish this because I had like, I was working on Black Mage and I switched to Dragoon and I'm honestly really liking Dragoon <laughs> at, a, at a 80 at least. Uh, I'm up at 83 right now and it doesn't seem to change too, too much once you get to 90. So that's good. Some classes like change completely between 80 and 90 and it's like, ah, but uh, it's not too bad. Uh, and I was very sad because the Tatiana weapon for Dragoon sucks. <laughs> it's very bad. But I did find another weapon that is kind of like a spiritual Tatiana weapon because it's undyed. It's like a metallic green spear with almost like a feather looking blade. Like in between like a feather and a tooth, like dual pronged blade. And then at the end, there's a purple crystal, and then it's adorned with, like, purple flowers, and it kind of looks like vines. It's really nice. Uh, and I made, like, a whole glamour around it. And I was like, I haven't done a non-purple glamour in a long, long time.
I did find that was true with Paladin, too. A lot of the swords for Paladin were just meh. There is one, like, starter level sword that is, as I enjoy it, purple. Um, that I still use as my glam for Paladin if I play it, but I don't really like playing Paladin, so... I saw a video someone put out about um, Final Fantasy XIV gill making. And like the first half of the video was about how gill making videos aren't good. And I was like, all right, I gotta watch this because like that was kind of my niche for getting into YouTube. Um, which I've kind of fallen off on doing that one because like the way this person addressed it in the video is very true. Gill making videos are just kind of rehashing the same principles, which is like sell things that are convenient to people and uh, you'll be good. You know, that's pretty much it. Sell things that are convenient. Doesn't matter how you get it. Just make sure it's convenient so that other people like are two lives together, whether you're selling vendor items or you're selling crafted items or gathered items. If it's something that would be a convenience to someone else, you can probably make money off of it. Uh, but they talked about housing too, which I got into that market for a while and that was tense. So much undercutting was done. I should probably heal a linguist. All right, I think I'll set their auto battle to use magic so it's a little faster. All right, we're almost there. We can almost proceed. We're getting there. Slow and steady. I'll have a nip-nap at the end. I don't know how I feel about the music here, though. It's a little weird. I feel like it needs, like, more to be good. Otherwise, it's just kind of annoying and repetitive. Mm. Here's my hot take on Final Fantasy music. The Papaya Easter song is really annoying. And I say this because my FC plays it all the time. And Zombie plays it in her apartment all the time. And I'm like, please stop. Overdesigned the ride. Well, I mean, maybe you'll like the new relic weapons. I hear they might be Manderville weapons. They're going to be bad shit. What does twin cast do? Oh, shit. Bet. Bet we're doing that for our auto combat. <laughs> that was great. I wonder if maybe I didn't need to level them that much. They're just glass cannons, but, uh, fine. <laughs> it does. It does also remind me of something else.
I like that we're just like, I will summon down hellfire. Bam. Dead. This feels overpowered. Does that use magic on them? 43, 42. We'll check after the next combat. I mean, I think that Chondrite stuff is frankly some of the best weapons in the game. Because have you seen the axe for that? It's fucking great. It's just a big ass gear. <laughs> Those are so fun. There's this weapon set that came out in Endwalker that's just all like big gears and steampunk themed and it's diable and it's really cool. Let's check and see if that used mana. It did. Okay. So it definitely does use mana. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Look it up and do right click try on and it's it's so cool. Big saw blade. And like when you go into combat, you like rip it. It's great. My do go to glam is full chondrite set. Full chondrite set. Helm. No helm. Yes, glasses. Pants become. Because god damn it, give me pants. Oh, I don't relate to that. I never wear pants. Ever. <laughs> Especially, I mean, okay, no, I'll wear pants if I Fanta to a here. <laughs> but that's not that common. I mostly will only wear pants if I decide. Yeah, if I decide to be a here, but that's it. Does it say out of syrup or out of mana? <laughs> Nap time. Children must sleep to grow. Honestly, I think this is a scam just so I like raise the annoying kids in town. They're like, these bitches, they're so annoying. Please take them with you. If they die in the mountain, I don't care. If they come back trained and well professional, even better. It doesn't help her skin's fluorescent white. So when it shows up, it really shows. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. I tend to do, uh, my favorite is actually like the bridesmaids bottoms. Not the actual bridesmaids bottoms, but like the wedding bottoms. Cause they're like tights. They're thigh highs with like frills on them, which is adorable. But the skirt is like very lightly frilled and white. And then there's like boots that it fits perfectly into. And then you can dye those and get just a hint of color there. And then you can do it like a, a long top and it looks really nice. And that's my go-to. <laughs> my fallback is the, the frilly tights. But I, I tend to feel the same way, kind of. Like I don't really like when my character's legs show. So I do always have like tights or something on. I don't like just the skirts. <laughs> I also don't like that. So I guess that makes sense then. Because mostly, if I'm doing outfits, my go-to glam right now... Actually, my go-to glam right now is, um... The... It's like one of the, like, not the Far Eastern, but the Eastern Lord or Ladies, um... Suikan thing. And that in purple. And then I have the Moogle arms and Moogle legs. Because it makes my little Lala legs look like drumsticks and it's adorable. It just gives real like bear outfit vibes. And it's cute. And then I do a little red bow on the top because the red picks up in the... Um, there's like non dyeable colors in the outfit that are red. The little red bow ties it all together. All 
right, we'll do a we'll do a level check after this. I can't believe I've grown into an adult that just likes feta. Like, as a kid, I thought feta was the grossest shit. And then I had a feta teen wobble. And I was like, this is delicious. What is that? And they're like, it's feta. And I went, oh, I like this. I get more. And now I just keep it in my fridge. Throw that shit on everything. Although in general, I think I just keep too much cheese in my fridge. <laughs> Right now, I have like three blocks of mozzarella in the fridge, which is really bad. I need to use it like a block of cheddar, parmesan and feta. No, we did just finish the feta. Ooh, actually, did I talk about this the other day? I don't know. I think it was a day I wasn't streaming, but um. I think it was this weekend, like Friday or Saturday night, I made a uh, tofu parm and it was so good. Which is just like, you take your tofu, you press it. If you intend to eat tofu, I highly recommend a tofu press. It's like a little container, Tupperware container with like a vice on the top so you can like squeeze it and all the liquid goes to the bottom. Um, it's really nice to have. <laughs> But uh, normally what I do is I keep my tofu in the freezer until I'm ready to eat it. And it like puffs up a little bit and it makes the texture look kind of spongy. Um, you have to be gentle with it because it gets crumbly. So that's why you just put it in the tofu press. Uh, and you squeeze all the water out for like 20 minutes, just leave it in the fridge. And then you cut that up and you lightly fry it and like, quarter inch of oil on each side so it gets crispy on the outside and then you cut it into cubes or you don't cut it it's up to you i like it cut into cubes because you can get the sauce in and then you put it in a casserole dish you just throw it in and then you cover it with a little bit of tomato sauce just like some dollops to your liking uh and then you do like a light dusting a light to a medium dusting of italian breadcrumbs and then you just dump mozzarella cheese on top and maybe some more breadcrumbs. But the key is lightly fried tofu, uh, tomato sauce, cheese. If you don't want to deal with all that shit, or sorry, tofu, tomato sauce, breadcrumbs, cheese. If you don't want to deal with all the pressing shit, you can literally just do it with tofu out of the package, right? Works either way. Tofu out of the package, it just gets a little wetter, but you bake that shit. You bake it for like an hour, right? A Tupperware dish. It comes out. It's crispy. It's chewy. It's delicious. It's lazy man chicken parm. Okay. <laughs> it's so good. And and I don't I don't remember where or when I was like, hey, I wonder if tofu is good with tomato sauce and Italian seasoning. Guess what? It is. <laughs> It sounds gross, but it's actually delicious. And it's because the flavor that makes tofu savory, the soy flavor, fits exactly in line with the flavor that makes tomatoes savory. It will definitely still taste like tofu a little bit, but it's closer to chicken parm than you would think. If there is a food you disliked as a kid, what is it? I wouldn't say I was a picky eater as a kid, but I definitely like had some things I just wouldn't eat. Like I would not eat onions on things. When I got burgers, ketchup only, maybe cheese. Like eating lettuce and even like some cooked onion on burgers is a very new thing. I still can't do raw onion. I just can't. It's too strong for me. I don't like it. <laughs> but um, I'll have like a caramelized onion burger with like spinach and cheese and all that stuff. As I got older, I realized that generally, especially if you go out to a restaurant, they're not going to do you dirty, right? And if they do do you dirty, you can probably laugh about it, okay? But restaurants make their business on selling good food. 
So my favorite place to try something new, if I haven't had it or I haven't liked it before, is just to order something that sounds kind of interesting at a restaurant, even if there's stuff I may not necessarily like in it, and just eat it all at once. Like, especially if it's like a burger or a sandwich or something like that. And that's how I tried a lot of things that I like. Like I learned to like zucchini too that way. I used to hate zucchini growing up, absolutely hate it. Because every time my parents would cook a zucchini, they would cut it in like, I would say like eighth inch, quarter inch slices, rounds, put it in a pan, and then just cook the shit out of it. They would like fry it and then cook the living shit out of it. So like the, the it would essentially like start to fall apart in the pan. I still don't like squishy zucchini. <laughs> That's a texture I can't do. It's slimy. I don't like it. So usually what I do now is I get uh, like small zucchini that are pretty dry and then I cut them into like thick slices. I put them in stuff and I can't see it or taste it. It's great. I put zucchini in curry all the time. I used to hate mayo. But when being introduced to actually good mayo, it has changed to willing to tolerate. I, I feel the same way about mayo. I still don't really like mayo, but if it's like small amounts in something it complements, like something that is like a sandwich with a lot of like hearty stuff or vinegary things, I'll tolerate it. Um, was it, I we went to this coffee place near us and the coffee was fucking delicious. Like we went on Saturday we went to this coffee place near us that's like locally owned and it's one of the few like chain non-chain coffee places um and they do their own like blend of coffee that they roast there and all that stuff because we like coffee coffee is nice um and the drink was great but we got a breakfast sandwich and it just it was good it was like a croissant sausage egg and cheese or bacon egg and cheese i got a bacon egg and cheese Except something was just weird about it, <laughs> which was like they put this sauce on it. And I think it was like a homemade Thousand Island with like a homemade mayo aioli Thousand Island type thing or like a tomato mayo thing. I couldn't really tell. It was just like kind of cold in some places and then like runny and creamy in others. And I was like, this is not. This should not be on a bacon, egg, and cheese. Like, this is not the combo. I can see this having a place, but it's not here. I was like, I, this, this is sus. But the drink was really good, and the sandwich was tolerable. Probably won't order it again. I'll probably just get an actual croissant, <laughs> not a sandwich. Um, The drink was really good, though. I got, like, an iced beverage and iced coffee. It was like double espresso or espresso with uh, shaken with a raspberry orange syrup. It was really fucking good. It's, you know, it's good coffee when the coffee is like thick, you know? And like, it could be the syrup or anything they added, but when the coffee is like, like it's, it's just, creamy and smooth and strong like that's good coffee and essentially anything you add to it has to build on the coffee flavor because sometimes you'll get like espressos that just kind of taste like normal coffee but more burnt and then there's espressos where like it tastes like condensed coffee I used to hate Brussels sprouts and spinach, but it turns out people who were serving to me were just awful cooks. Oh God, how did they cook it, Merlin? I also used to be on the fence about them, but I agree, how you cook things is really important. I can't believe, so growing up, I used to always, my family used to always cook carrots. Just like coined carrots, sliced into little slices, like boiled. Carrots would always be boiled in water, drained, and then a little bit of honey would be added to them. To this day, I cannot eat sweet carrots. <laughs> like, as a kid, I didn't mind it, but I'm just like, Because the vibe is just, these are bad sweet potatoes. 
I would rather just have like a sweet squash or sweet potatoes. It's not the vibe. Have the children grown? Have they learned? Not enough yet. Oh no, we gotta go to the three sign in. They're like, one sign is not enough to advertise this in. Let's just put it up three times. Honestly, I feel like every day at work, I open my email and I'm thinking of this because of the signs, the three signs. Cause I work as a graphic designer and every day I open up my email and I look to see what clients responded to me and see like what's going on here. And there's this customer that I've sent in like multiple revisions for. And it, like, he has like multiple different logos on his website. And I hate working with this customer because they never know what they want. <laughs> and it's so frustrating because they're always like, oh, I don't know, you decide. I'm like, I'm not going to send you 30 revisions because we're not charging that much because we charge a truncated rate because we also offer a product. We want them to buy our product. So we charge less for the graphic design services. But <laughs> I designed something for this customer. They haven't responded. And like, I, I pretty much put my foot down and I was like, hey, we can't, like, we're gonna have to charge you this amount if we do any more revisions to your artwork. Because I gave him four free revisions, including pretty much a whole rework of the logo. But then they were like, actually, can you do it in the previous font you used? And I'm like, no, I have to charge you for this. This is completely reworking it. They're like, oh, it's just changing out the font. And I was like, that's not how this works. Like, yes, there are some live fonts in this file that can be swapped out, but you get it to look the way you want it to look. We have to do a lot of custom work and that's going to be like three hours to four hours of work. No. And they haven't replied. So I'm just waiting for like an angry email. Or they're going to email me back saying like, hey, where's my revision? And then I'm going to send them the quote again. And then they're, then they're going to complain that it's taking too long. And then I'm going to forward them the email saying like, hey, we can't meet your deadline because you need it tomorrow. And it takes us this amount of time to do stuff. A lot of people do not understand how commissioning art works at all. I just accept it. It's only pain. Oh, I enhanced. Will you guys like fight? I had a user who I emailed at the same email asking questions three times and she replies today with, please stop sending me this email. But I still didn't answer the question. Oh, I have gotten that exact message. Like, please stop contacting me. And I'm like, but, but you ordered through us and there's a problem with your order. We need you to reply for your order to, to go. So they'll like email me saying, please stop contacting me. And then email customer support saying like, hey, where's my order? Why is it held up? And I'm like, in the same day. And I'm like, why do you think we're reaching out to you about your car's extended warranty? The worst. Customer facing is the worst. And I mean, as an asterisk, I can plain full well understanding that there are horrible customer facing professions every day that people do with even more. I have worked customer service at a department store, <laughs> especially during the holiday season. And I have also worked at a fast food restaurant, restaurante, uh, 
a, a famous fast food restaurant with a clown mascot uh, that I worked out like in between college one summer. And I've also worked at a uh, one of the big two chain resales, retail stores. So like I've, I've dealt with the with the customer side of things. I've cashiered. I've done customer service. <sighs> There's something special once you get to like business to business customer service. Like, when it's just customer to the business, there's kind of this, like, barrier of, hey, I am offering you a service. You are purchasing from me. That's great. But customer's always right. Whatever. Whereas, like, business to business, like, you really see where people have, like, no idea how to handle their own shit. They don't know how to handle their own business. They have no idea what they're doing. And then they're taking it out on you. <laughs> because they're like, oh, I didn't order my stuff in time. It's your fault. And I'm like, how? Please tell me how. If you send me one more low res JPEG, I'm going to go ape shit. <laughs> 18 and 19, we're getting there. We just need them up to 20. You must gain experience faster. Sorry, I just remembered that there's chocolate pudding in my refrigerator. Wait, what the fuck is bio? Release a virus that helps health to deal damage. Ooh, that looks fun. And helpful, too. Hopefully, I would get that damage back as health to me. Um, for some reason, I feel like my schedule of doing things, my internal clock, is really messed up this week. Because it feels like a Friday to me. I'm like, ah, yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna go chill and, like, do stuff. No, I have work tomorrow. Nope. Work tomorrow. Meeting of unknown origin with my boss on later in the week. Don't know what it's about. Don't know what it's for. Don't know what I'm going over. Oh, well. I think I have my shit on lockdown. It should be fine. I'm very much expecting at some point that my company is going to do layoffs, and I don't know what's going to happen there. I have no idea. <laughs> I think I'm okay. Like, I think. But I don't know how bad it's going to be. Like, the worst case scenario... They would lay off the entire team, but I, I feel like they, I feel like that would be very unwise, you know, because we're the team that can talk about art and can do art for customer facing stuff. Um, and back when the team was only like two or three people, it was very, very busy. Um, but also like I have reached like old person status at my job. Where, like, everybody above me that had similar positions has left. <laughs> so, like, I have the archival information. If people have a problem with something, they come to me for that information. So, like, I feel very secure in most cases. But I never know what's going to happen. Because we had, like, really crazy layoffs the last... We've had layoffs pretty much every year um, at my company. So, I've survived three rounds of layoffs. So, I think I'm okay. But I never know. I always worry that I'm going to reach that point where they're like, ah, she makes more money than we think she should. And we don't want to give her another promotion or another raise. So we're going to get rid of them. Although I don't think that's how my company does stuff. Because they don't want to have to pay unemployment. Usually it feels like they try to, like, force you to quit. Like, that's the vibe. Eat the rich. It's true.
Uh, listen, I just want a house and a cat. At this point, I'll even... Like a townhouse. We were looking for a house that was like... An actual house and not attached to something. But at this point, I would be fine with a townhouse and an HOA. As long as it's like big enough to have a cat and have a friend over. That's all I want. Because it's still going to be less than rent. Reveled will talk to friends and family about their cats and stuff. And he starts going on a story about his cats at home. And the cats he had, like, when we lived back in Jersey. And I just sit there and I go, how can you make me sit here and listen to conversations about cats when we don't have a cat? <laughs> and we're not allowed to have a cat because you don't want a cat. <laughs> so then I look up all the cats available for adoption in our area and I read off their profiles to him and show him pictures. <laughs> Get back at you. Although I think we should be getting a cat this winter assuming we can get a house we should be getting a cat mm. that's also what i was hoping i would like look out the window sometimes and i'll get excited because i'll be like oh my god is that a cat and it's the fucking raccoon death to the raccoons give me destiny cats Oh, we're almost there. You could also adopt a raccoon. I don't know if that's legal where I live. Also, I don't know that I'd want to. They need like a water puddle. So it's a space thing again. All right. 20 and 20, let's go. We're taking the children up the mountain and they probably won't come back. Maybe. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Doesn't matter. They've trained long enough. Oh, I should see if there's gear I can get. <laughs> Although I believe this might be gear for paladins. But we'll double check. We'll keep it. I'm sure maybe I have more stuff than I need, but I think it's fine. Okay, let's check weapons. I mean, just to be sure. They're geared to battle. Do I remember where I need to go? No. Palinguist and Gr Grigrom. We must go. So I think they said it was to the east. Something, something, mountains.
I'm still eating. <laughs> like one piece of lettuce at a time. That's it. That's where I am? Alright. I thought I was in a different place. With this dragoons in Final Fantasy and adopting random children. Well, when they don't have dragons, it becomes a problem. And they get attached to the first child that's near them. They need the emotional support. Also, was that a jab at a studio in adopting Alphino? Then Ali say. While you're doing this, I'm doing the 6.1 MSQ and just like, no, bad Estinian. Put the orphan down! We have disowned children at home! <laughs> Don't worry, there'll be more. Are they still disowned? Well, what are you waiting for? Yeah, yeah, keep your hat on. Blizzard! Bam! Ha! Too easy! Slap. Palinguist. The Elder taught us not to submit to arrogance. Please forgive his antics. Meanwhile, Come f wait, <laughs> voice is fucked up. Come forth, Scar Millioni. Scar Million. Scar Million of Earth at your com. Wait, I gotta get a Scar Million voice. Sorry. Scar Million of Earth at your command. Shade XD aspires too much. He ascends Mount Ordeals as we speak. I shall clip his wings now. So, he desires to become a paladin. Dispose of him. His dark sword should be all but useless against your undead. I shall return with his head. Make sure that you do. Yes, sir. <laughs> I tried to channel my inner New Jersey. This is getting interesting. Wouldn't you say, McKay K? Shade XD might still prove to be a formidable opponent. You dare question my judgment? Scar Million is one of the four elemental lords. He will not fail. Merlena and I will delight in watching Shade XD's demise. Sire, please grant me a second chance. Instead of Scarmillion, allow me the task of slaying him. Just be grateful I let you live after your little blunder. Uh. 
Shade XD. <laughs> oh, yeah. Secrets, secrets, secrets. Secrets! Oh my god, that's so many skeletons. Yeah, just keep using your, your twin fire thing. It's a really good. Just continue throwing nukes. It's great. A potion. Another potion. I mean, so they've also verified that light weapons don't work. I wonder if I should just unequip my weapon, right? And just start fucking swinging. Just bare fisted. Oh. Can I get down here? No. I thought that was secrets. No, no, no. Alphina's mom wants someone to impress her husband, okay? She's requesting these outfits for her husband. Uh. You better be in a chicken suit. Come it. Mm -hmm. Amanda's looking all right. XD. What brings you here? Oh, wait. You seek Meteor as well? Meteor? If you know about Meteor, that means you're Teller. Hey, old man, am I right? Don't be rude. You stand before the great sage himself. It's an honor to meet you. We came here from Mysidia on orders of our elder. Yeah. Yeah, we're spying on. <laughs> Please excuse him. As I was saying, we're serving as guides for Sir Shade XD. My name is Gregorm. And I'm Palinguist. Missidia's most exalted mage. I've heard lots about you. Kids from Missidia, eh? But where are Denki and DBC? We were attacked by Leviathan on our way to Baron, and... What? They aren't dead, are they? I can't say for sure, but I fear the worst. On top of that, Golbez has captured Merlina. <laughs> I'll bet you that's his girlfriend. Hush. Uh, I thought you'd headed straight to Baron to confront Golbez. Mm, my magic still lacks the power to defeat him. So I came here to find the legendary spell Meteor. I sense a strong aura on this mountain. I believe it holds what I am looking for. 
But that spell is much too dangerous. It requires tremendous vitality for a man of your age. I admit I am old, but one old man's life is a fair price to pay to bring down Golbez. Hmm. Jeez. Why are adults so pig headed? You don't understand because you're still a kid. Now hush. Shade XD, you have yet to answer my question. Why have you come here? I came in the hopes of becoming a paladin. I cannot defeat Golbez with the Dark Sword, and I have longed to renounce this hateful thing. Who's Golbez? Don't you know anything? He's the one controlling Baron. He's no ordinary man, but a powerful sorcerer whose evil grows by the second. So, Shade XD, you are here to become a paladin? Then, this mountain must hold some secret after all. I shall accompany you. Tella, join the party. Bum 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 It's Matt. I mean so far in mountain zones I think we've only fought like birds skeletons spirits and bombs <laughs> It feels weird that it's like the same monsters in this zone. will still be a save point to use a tent, but we'll see. Oh yeah. MP, baby. Love me a good ether. Oh shit. We got Lilith. Sexy snake ladies. My favorite. I have defeated the salad. It's probably too much salad. It took me two hours to eat it. <laughs> but man, think of all the leafy greens I've consumed. The linguist, stop that. Stop what? Sussy. Sussy Bacchus. Items. Tent. And then we'll, I guess we'll optimally equip Tella as well. Yeah. 
These are all dark weapons, so it doesn't really make a difference. Stop it! It's not me! I sense an evil presence. I will... Wait. <clears throat> I will enjoy killing you all. Who's there? Under Master Golba's orders, I, Sky Million of Earth, will deliver you unto the gates of hell. My undead hunger for your flesh. Like the worst Jersey accent. We'll see how this goes. We'll try just twin casting. Tear them apart! Get fucked, my dude. <laughs> Imagine introducing yourself as I, Coach Aqua. It is I, Scamelione. Of the earth. Get, get him. Get him. What's happening to me? We got him. Now, okay. I'm not going to say anything. We'll wait. wait until the right time to address what I need to address. I forgot to save. Fools. My true... <coughs> My true strength lies... What the fuck is this? <laughs> My true strength lies in death. Join me in hell. It's, it's all cowboys. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying, but it's all cowboys. <laughs> Bad cowboys. Hey, look, he's back. Okay, so I knew this was going to happen. This is my true form. Die. I knew this was going to happen because Golbez is... <sighs> hey, Merlin, do you care if I talk about 6.2 story stuff? Okay, so Golbez is in the 6.1 and 6.2 story. 
And they're doing the, um, like, four fiends from Final Fantasy IV in the story. Um... So you, we fight Scarmillion in two. We also fight Barbariccia. Barbariccia. Breathe deep and walk the undead. I was hoping to get Gregorm, Greg Rom up for that. Such pain. Oh, they're not both casting twin cast. Oh, we got him. Yeah. We got him. I was worried. I was getting a little worried. I was like real focused on trying to get that twin cast synced up. How could I possibly? How could I possibly lose? I don't. Uh, we don't do. We don't do intentional accents here. I should just give up on that. Ah. Uh, uh. Magic. Congratulations, you're healed. Time to become a paladin. My son. Son? Just who are you? Oh shit. Long have I awaited you, and much sorrow have I endured. I shall now entrust you with my strength. In doing so, my pain will only grow. But there is no other way. Oh shit, I'm a paladin now. I can see my hair! Break from your past and overcome the darkness. Only then will you receive the holy power. You must defeat the dark knight within you. Oh shit! Shadow fight. Shadow fight. Huh? What's going on? There are two of them. Shade XD! Hey! Look out! Stay back! This is my battle. One I must fight alone for my wrongs. Oh, I said fight to atone my wrongs. 
Okay, I can cast here. Owie. Uh, give myself a box right here. A true paladin. <laughs> Why am I red? <laughs> Would sheathe his sword. A true paladin. <laughs> Would sheathe his sword. Can I stop? I'm like stuck in this cutscene here, so I can't even do that. A true paladin. Would sheath his sword. Okay, <laughs> I fucked up. Should not have used a Bacchus there. I get it. I will put my sword away. No swords allowed here. <laughs> oh god, the matcha tea is so sweet. <laughs> I haven't had a sip of it in like two hours. It's so sweet. I guess defend. There is more at stake than justice or truth. One day you will see. Now go, seek what you must. You have done well. Now. My spirit will become light, and the light will become your strength. With it, you must stop Golbez. Farewell, my son. No, don't go. You could probably feed this entire game script into some kind of AI generated. It's similar to audio track. Shade XD has become a paladin. I mean, as long as those syllables match up, I think you'll get the emotion behind the blah blah. Right? Are are you all right? You must be. A linguist, enough. This feeling, I, I can't explain it. It feels so similar, so familiar. And that voice, oh my. Mr. Tella? My spells. I remember them now. Hello remembered all of his spells. Ah, Me Tior. That light. Somehow, it broke the seal upon Meteor. Convenient. Very convenient. He is indeed a great sage. Hey. Hey, Gron. I think it's time we... Uh, 
Shade XD. We have something. We have to tell you something. We're actually... I am ready to face Golbez. I am Doom itself. Come. Shade XD. To Baron. Yes. To Baron. That light. Why did it call me son? Hey. Wait up. Are you coming? Yes. Look in the mirror more, why don't you? Damn, bro. You're actually the warrior of light. <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> ah, let's have a tent up here. Better. I found a generator that takes tests and <laughs> converts it to Animal Crossing. The wobble wobble. <laughs> Cute Animal Crossing noises intensify. What are my paladin skills now? Oh shit, I cast gear. Damn, bro. <sighs> oh, the fire is good for the spirits? That's okay. it's the magic in general, but I think it's the fire. Which is not great that they cast pyro, but I guess pyro doesn't count as fire, so that's fine. Oh god, I'm only level 8. Alright. So let me stop here for now. And we will go to our just chatting screen. Hey. Okay. So, it was a good stream today. I had lots of fun. Uh, that's probably not where I was going to turn. Lots of fun. Big salad. <laughs> um, so what did we find so far? So we went, we lost our, this is a very eventful stream story lies. We, we lost our party. Well, no, we got a monk in our party. We failed to save the crystal. We found out the other Dragoon is a traitor. We lost our healer. And then we went to go get the healer, and on that journey, we lost three of our other party members to a leviathan. And then we ended up in the town that we committed a terrorism on. <laughs> we were given two children who we had to train up so they're not so useless. We found out that they have uh, essentially a magical nuke. Started using that, we found good old boy Tella up in the mountains, trying to um, remember where he left his keys, essentially. Um, and then we found a sword in a room of mirrors. 
uh, that was like, my son. And, and I don't understand the son part, but I, I guess we'll figure it out. Um, it's, it's probably going to lead to something like you are the warrior of light or like the son of the warrior of light or something like that. So that's, that's likely it. Uh, we're a paladin now and we're pretty squishy. So I'll probably do some leveling up uh, in this area just before we head out. But we will be back probably next Monday. Take a little break from Final Fantasy. Uh, at least Final Fantasy 4. Uh, and tomorrow night is going to be a variety night. So we're either going to do like Gundam Evolution, Battlefield. We might do a retro game. We might do Final Fantasy 14. It all depends. Uh, it also might be like collab with friends. See what's going on. Chill stream, something like that. Um, I honestly, it might be a rigging stream. That's a possibility too. That's on the table. Uh, I just got to see how work is going to be tomorrow. Um, and we may start doing like deformers and actually moving things on the, the new rig. So that'll be fun if we end up doing that. Uh, let's find someone to raid out to. Brain empty. No thoughts. Not a single damn one. Nothing there. Try and shame. What are we looking at here? All right, let's raid out to Ergo Demise. I was playing Overwatch with Ergo last night, celebrating the end of Overwatch. Um, still don't know if I'm gonna play Overwatch 2, but I got peer pressured and I, I played Overwatch. It's interesting having played Overwatch this year after playing Gundam, how much better Gundam feels. Like the movement is just nicer. Not having a sprint, oof. Um, but let's go right out to Ergo and I will catch you tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern.